Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Radhika Tech. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to export our table which are displaying the table data into the Excel sheet. Let's be discuss that. So first we are creating one class which is Excel table data. I am taking the class name as Excel table data. So, before going to do that, first we will take our JSON data and we will display, display that complete data into our, as in the form of table formation. First, we will create our JSON data. So here I am taking with ID 1 and name I will take first. I am taking the sample itself. So here aa.gmail.com So with the three variables I am taking here. Now, at least we will take as five. So, it is fine enough. So, has been created my JSON data. Now, we will create one table and we will display. So, we will take one th and th, the name of id. name and email now to the t body itself and t row so here we will map our data data dot map so here So here we will tr remove here at this level we will display our name itself like that. So here dd dot name will display id also better we will get one row okay dd dot id and the name and email address so here we will keep it as a key of dd dot id itself so first we will see our data and I want to be to be, to be in center. So I will keep here as center formation. Class name. Specify center with the flex. So 
so i will export i will import here import excel table data here we'll call this here so we'll see the output so you can see that id name and email i want this data we'll make it as a table itself once and we will export in our excel sheet onto the class name of border with the border of brief 400 now we'll see how it will come so it is came in the full and i want to make it as a columns also Make it as a bottom. So we'll see now. So this is the how we are getting the table data. When we click on the button of export data, so at that time I want to export the data, complete data into the Excel sheet. So first we'll create one button. So at the top of the table, I am creating one button. So button export data. So we'll see. So here we are getting the button. So when I click on the button, I want to export the data. So, so for do that, we have to install one npm that is react export table to excel so you can find it is npm also so react react export table to excel sheet so excel In that we are now using use download Excel. So this is what we are using now. For this we have to use the reference also. Table left use reference. So it will point out the current element. So one we will create one method fonts on download. It sees we are it will get from use download Excel. So we use the current table reference. So it is the table ref we will named as dot current and we used to name the file name also. So here I am using the users information as info. And I want to name it as a sheet also. It is a user I am naming. User data. 
so this i want to be in the table we have to keep this reference so here we have to keep so reference we are using is the table reference the named as a table reference here so we keep that name as there so when we click on the button we will get right so we have to call that method in the button itself on download right so we have to keep it here on click So we'll see the output once. It is it is downloaded. So we'll check this in our downloads. So user info which has been named as here you can see the so user info I named as the file name here. So we will open that file and we'll see the output. So you can see that in our table data we are having with an ID as name and email. So you can see the complete data will be exported into our Excel sheet. This is the how we have to export by using the React export table to Excel by the npm we are using there with the with that npm we will do the export our table complete data to the excel sheet so this is the how we will do to export the data if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon it will give the notifications